Nine. We have ignition sequence start. The engines are on. Four, three, two, one, zero. We have commit. We have, we have liftoff. Liftoff at 7.51 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We have cleared the tower. Roger. Right here, Houston. Right and clear. The Saturn V is one of the greatest mechanical inventions ever created by humankind. In 2020, 53 years after its first flight, it remains the tallest, heaviest, and most powerful rocket ever flown. For a short period of time, it allowed humans to travel to the moon and land on its surface. When the Apollo program was finished, it made one last triumph when it launched the United States' first space station. In the coming years, there may be more rockets that surpass the Saturn V in height or weight, but I believe there will never be another rocket as grand and mythical as the Saturn V ever again. To honor the 52nd anniversary of the first time the Saturn V carried a crew on Apollo 8, I created a custom LEGO model of the famous launch vehicle. This model is not to be confused with the Saturn V set released by LEGO in 2017, as this model is much smaller and entirely my own design. The Saturn V is made from about 580 pieces and stands at just over 2 feet tall. The rocket is roughly 1 156th scale, and you're probably wondering why it chose such an odd number. Well actually, I wanted to utilize the 4x4 quarter cylinder pieces, which turn out to be 8 studs across when put together. Since the Saturn V first stage is 33 feet wide, and my first stage is 8 studs wide, that means that the whole rocket has to be built where 1 inch on my Saturn V equals 156 on the real Saturn V. That's right, I actually did the math. Starting with the first stage, I used two sets of quarter cylinders to achieve most of the length, and a special cylinder technique towards the bottom to achieve the black and white stripes. Fans of the LEGO Saturn V might recognize this technique, as it is the same one used for the S4B stage, with a few changes. There are four sides of the cylinder which corresponds perfectly to the four stripes and fins on the real first stage. I switched out the ball socket piece for a clip, as this piece comes in a variety of colors and provides the same connection. These four brick-built sections might look alike, but there are two different types that go on opposite sides of the cylinder. For the iconic F1 engines, I used five 3x3 three three cones and a simple technique to flip the studs around. Moving up the rocket, I used the same cylinder technique as the first stage for the interstage roll pattern. It really is a simple technique that gives the rocket a great look. The second stage is even more simple as I used a single set of quarter cylinders as well as a few round bricks stacked on top of each other. The section between the second and third stages was a more complicated problem to solve. This interstage effectively has four quadrants, with a different paint pattern for each side. Starting with a Ford stud tall 4x4 brick with studs on each side, I was able to add enough 1x2 slopes in black and white to recreate the sloped interstage. The third stage of the Saturn V is made using a 4x4 section with curved slopes around it. The 4x4 section includes bricks with studs on the side so that the four sections could be attached. Connected to the third stage is the conical structure used to hold the lunar module. This shape was accomplished by using a 2x2 structure at the core and curved slopes on the sides. The service module was another problem to solve as it had to connect to the command module eventually. The service module is made from three of these round Hero Factory pieces with two axles through the side holes. Through the bottom is another axle and a lightsaber blade out the top. This blade is what connects the command module and the launch escape tower to the service module. This model definitely has room for improvements, and I'd love to hear if you have suggestions. Let me know what you think. Power 8 Houston. Go ahead, Houston. Power 8, you are go for TLI. Over. Roger, understand. We're go for TLI. Since this video is celebrating the anniversary of Apollo 8, I figured I'd include a build that offers even more significance than the Saturn V. For those of you who may not know, the Apollo 8 mission marked the first time any humans ventured outside of Earth orbit. Astronauts Frank Borman, Jim Lovell, and Bill Anders were the crew on Apollo 8, and they became the first humans ever in history to fly all the way to the moon and back. In order to get there, they used a Saturn V rocket. But this section is actually what got them there. Known as the S-4B, 
the Saturn V's third stage was what pushed the three astronauts and their spacecraft out of Earth orbit and on a path to the moon. On a lunar landing mission, this is where the lunar module would be stored. Since Apollo 8 would not be making a landing, it did not carry a LEM, but instead carried a lunar module test article as ballast. This model is the S4B from the official Saturn V set, though it has been heavily modified. It features more details for the J2 rocket engine, more accurate auxiliary propulsion system modules, and actual instrument unit ring. To represent Apollo 8, I have included a lunar module test article to sit inside of the S4B. I hope you enjoyed this look at my custom Saturn V, and I'd love to take a moment to welcome you all to the Brick Space, as this is my first video on the channel. If you like the builds featured in this video, make sure to check out my Instagram, as that's usually where most of my content goes. Come find me over there and let me know what you thought of the video. And from the crew of Apollo 8, we close with good night, good luck, a Merry Christmas, and God bless all of you, all of you on the good earth.